and hello hi everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel i get a lot of questions asking how do i start reading in my target language how do i pick the right book how do i read it actively so i know that i'm actually learning and retaining the information as i go and i have a lot of different advice on this from people who are just starting out learning a language to people who have been learning for a really long time and are interested in improving their reading skills. A really good way to test out if a book is good for you is to read the first page. Read through the entire first page. And if you can read through it and you only had to look up five or less words, it is a good book for you to be reading for the level you are in your language. If you're going through sentence by sentence and you see I don't know that word, I don't know that word, I don't know that word. Take a step back, take a deep breath, and maybe hold off on reading that book for now. Because reading something where you're only focusing on looking at vocabulary words is not helpful for you. This right here is an online novel that is both in the language I'm studying, my target language, Italian, as well as English. Um, it's from easyreaders.org. So this is basically the table of contents. So your first chapter, Amanda de Vide. Your second chapter in Italian, the anniversario. Your second chapter in English, the anniversary, and so on and so forth. So it's very short and it's very basic. This is an A1 level reading, but when I was first starting off, um, learning Italian, this helped me so much. So I'm going to show you guys how to effectively read and write, read and take notes while you're reading to make sure you're retaining your information and you're learning as you go. Amanda ha 25 anni. So di a medicina a Bologna e ha molti amici perché è simpatica e gentile. Esce insieme un ragazzo che si chiama Davide. Lui ha 30 anni e la volo a Falalla. È ingen... ingeniele. Ingeniele? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Underline any of the words that you struggled to say or had difficulty pronouncing. Um, and it'll also help you practice your pronunciation and reading skills and eventually you'll notice yourself getting faster and better and comprehending things so much quicker than you had before. So I finished going back to this story and rewriting it in my target language. And I know there are a lot of mistakes because I have a lot of question marks here, but I'm going to show you how you can check your mistakes. So I go through, I see the first sentence. Amanda a 25 anni. In this story, Amanda ha 25 anni. Studia medicina a Bologna e ha molti amici. Studia medicina a Bologna e ha molti amici. Perché è simpatica e genuine. Perché è simpatica, simpatica e gentile. Okay, so I messed up one of my words. So I'm going to circle it. In my story, if you have the hard copy version, and I am going to cross out the word and rewrite it as the proper word. And now this is a new vocab word as well that I just learned. Esce insieme a un ragazzo si chiama Davide. Esce insieme a un ragazzo. Che si chiama Davide. Okay, so I had a few mistakes in this one as well. I used the word for man instead of boy. I forgot one of my articles when I was referring to the man. So I'm going to make note both in my story. And I'm going to edit it in my paper. Go through your entire story and go through all of these steps, crossing out and editing everything in a different color. You need to be making these edits in a different color. So try your best to write 
in pencil or black pen and go back with a colored pen, either blue, red, purple, green, doesn't matter. Something that stands out as different from your original writing. So this is old for me, so I've, and I've gone through everything. So at the top, I have all of my vocab. sono fidanzati da, infatti, etc. And then down here, I have the story. So this was the original text, and this is what I came up with. And you can see I went through all of the words, piece by piece, adding the accent mark crossing out any words that I needed to. And if there was a word that I said wrong or I didn't know, I rewrote it down here with the meaning of it to make sure it all worked. And I did this in July. So I've definitely improved a lot since then with my Italian. But I think this is the most effective way to actively read books when you're first starting out in your target language. I have 100 Love Sonnets by Pablo Neruda and it was translated by Stephen Tapscott and this is another <laughs> book that is in both languages but because this is poetry I prefer just to read it in my target language and go back if I really need to in English, but I'm I'm also more proficient in Spanish, so I have an easier time. But if you truly want to enjoy and be able to comprehend a book in your target language, I highly suggest using this technique. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned how to properly and actively be reading books in your target language from now on. It's a really useful skill and it can help you not only with your reading skills, but also with your speaking skills and your grammatical skills. If you have any questions at all, please write them down below. I am going to be linking lots of different texts in Italian, Spanish, and English for all of you guys, both through the A1 to the C2 level. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the button and subscribe. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it or found it helpful. Thank you again, and until next time, arrivederci, adios, and goodbye.